Hello and welcome to this tips and techniques video from Master Your Photography. In this series we've carefully crafted a collection of short videos designed to provide you with key points on specific topics without any of the unnecessary waffle. Our goal is to give you practical information that you can immediately apply to your own photography. We understand that your time is precious, so we've condensed each video to deliver concise, actionable information. With our tips and techniques series, you'll gain the knowledge and the confidence to improve your photography in no time at all. So that's probably enough waffle, let's get started. One of the most frustrating problems for photographers is when you get back from a shoot, you're excited because you think, I got some brilliant images there, load them up on your computer, zoom into 100% and suddenly your heart sinks because you realise that the images are not quite as sharp as you hoped they would be. They're just ever so slightly blurry, ever so slightly soft. And the usual cause of this is camera shake. What we mean by that is that the camera actually moved during the exposure. It's really frustrating when this happens, but don't worry, there are things that we can do to make sure we eradicate camera shake from every image that you take from today onwards. The most obvious solution to fixing a camera shake problem is to put the camera actually on a tripod. Lock it down solidly so that it's not going to move at all during the exposure. If you haven't got a tripod with you, then sometimes you can find a solid surface such as a wall or a table or even a camera bag that you can balance your camera on so that when you actually take the picture, there's less chance of it actually being moved downwards because it's that action of you pressing the shutter release button and just moving the camera downwards ever so slightly as you do it that creates the camera shake and then it results in the blur. Of course, if you're using a tripod or balancing your camera on a solid surface, if you can also use a shutter release cable as well, then that's going to minimize camera shake even further. If you haven't got a shutter release cable, then a lot of cameras nowadays can be connected to your mobile phone so that you can use your phone as a remote shutter release. So that's a good idea if that works with your camera and phone combination. And if that, that's not an option, then the next thing you can try is to use the self timer. Set the timer on your camera to five or 10 seconds, press the button and then just step away and leave the camera so that after five or 10 seconds, it automatically takes the picture without you having to press anything and reducing that risk of camera shake even further. If you're hand holding your camera, then it's important to hold it in the correct way. So if you're standing, then put your legs slightly apart, just shoulder width is fine. Tuck your elbows into the side of your body. Your left hand should support the lens underneath and then your right hand holds the camera grip on the right hand side and with your, your finger on the shutter release button. Now, if you breathe in and then hold, either hold your breath or breathe out ever so slowly, just nice and gently, and at the end of that breath, just gently squeeze down on the shutter release button and take the picture. You should also make sure that the shutter speed that you're using is appropriate for the focal length of the lens that you're using to take the picture. Now there's a, a rule for this. When I say rule, what I really mean is it's just a rough guide. Now the rule suggests using a shutter speed faster than the reciprocal of your focal length. Now what that means is, for example, if you're shooting with a 100mm lens, use a shutter speed of at least a hundredth of a second. If you're using, say, a 50mm lens, then use a shutter speed of at least a 50th of a second. So you wouldn't want to go below that and use a 40th or a 30th or anything like that. And it's a, it's a, good, a good guide to work to when you're trying to eliminate camera shake. The choice of lens also has an impact on the potential for camera shake. So a longer, heavier telephoto lens is going to be much more susceptible to any kind of movement when you take a photo, especially if it's handheld, compared with, say, a shorter, lighter, wide-angle lens. You can always turn up the ISO setting on your camera, so that will allow you to use a faster shutter speed and therefore reduce the likelihood of any camera shake. But 
beware if you're turning up the ISO because you will end up with a reduction in image quality if you go too high with it. A lot of cameras have built-in image stabilization nowadays so check your manual and see if your camera's got this if it has got image stabilization it's sometimes called vibration reduction then make sure you turn it on that will allow you to use a lower shutter speed than you would normally be able to do handheld but again it does have limitations and there will come a point at which if you go below it then you will still get camera shake one of the best things you can do is to practice these techniques practice how to hold your camera correctly, how to stand correctly, how to breathe correctly when you're squeezing that shutter release button so that you don't get any kind of camera movement at all. Over a period of time you'll actually start to develop muscle memory and you'll find that you can actually hand hold your camera at a lower shutter speed than when you first started but it does take time and it does need practice you'll start to understand the limitations of both you and your camera and you'll know what you're capable of in any given situation. It means that you'll have the confidence to go into a situation, get the shot that you need and know that it won't suffer from camera shake. Thank you for tuning in to Master Your Photography's Tips and Techniques series. We hope you found this video useful and practical. Remember, each photo you take is a stepping stone towards becoming a better photographer. So get out there and capture the world in your own unique way. Until next time, happy shooting. Mm -hmm.